Once you're the door for the fish room, there are some things that you need to which you need to have them with you before you can start fish room. When it comes to the filling of the fish room, you need your fish. This is your fish which we have already fixed. This is your fish, you need it. You can either use a fresh mackerel or <coughs> you can use the sardine fish, the one in the can. I prefer this because when you season it very well, it's very tasteful. Yeah. You need that. You need some spices. You need your onions, your green spices, maybe the sea, leeks, and the rest for the seasoning. Yeah, you need your the green ball pepper, your garlics. And yeah, you need your little thyme, you need your white pepper, you need your maggot juice for seasoning, you need your curry powder. But all in all, you can put any spices that you, you can use any spices to season your fish as long as you are comfortable with the spices. There is there are no specific spices to season your fish. Some people just season it only with pepper and maggi, maggi cube and so that's all. You understand? So it depends on you how you want to season it. So that's that for fish roll. Then for the dough, we need to nutmeg. You can either get this one in the sachet or you get the wrong one which you great. I love this one because it has a very good flavor. The flavor is very good and very strong. So you just put a little bit of it and it's very okay. Then you need your butter. Please, it doesn't mean that you must buy the blue band. You can buy any butter of your choice that you love. I love this butter, I love the taste, I love the smell, I love everything about it. Then you need your flour. We have our flour here, which we'll be using. And then, that's it. You need your baking powder. And then you need your salt. You understand? Sugar is your lightness. Not everybody puts sugar. So it is your desire. It is optional if you want to put sugar. It's optional. You must understand. There are times when I want to make it, I don't put sugar. I make only my, I put only my little stuff for it to taste. You understand? So you can also put sugar. You can put maybe one teaspoon or one tablespoon. It depends on how sweet you want it to, to be. So those are the things we'll be needing here to make our fish roll. So we are going to start. We'll start first by making the filling, the dough of the, the, the fish roll. And we keep for you to say, for like 10 minutes. Right setting, we'll be making the filling for the fish roll. Pour it. Not all I have. Okay, it's okay. This is how we measure one cup. Yeah. Either you use a spoon or you use something like this. Now you want to measure your flour. This is how you put your flour in the cup. This is how you measure your flour. And when you do that, get something like a knife, right? You use the edge like this and make it. That's one cup of flour. And then you save. Please, if you come and you do like this, and you think that this is one cup of flour, and you put, that's where you get it wrong. You use the other measurements of the ingredients, it will be very, very okay. But at this particular stage, you realize that it is more than one cup. And it is it is really tight inside that if you want to put it, it's more than one cup. This is almost one and a half cup of flour. So you have to be very careful when you're, you're doing it. So either you take a spoon, and this is how you measure your flour. This is the best way. It makes air to also incorporate in the in the flour. And if you are making your cake, you realize that your cake will be dense. This is our teaspoon, right? When you are measuring your baking powder too, it should be level. Everything is level. Are you saying? That's one. I always save my baking powder because there are some baking powders that have loaves. It's what quantity? One teaspoon. Mm. Some people don't like this flavor with no make. So if you don't like it, but you like the flavor of lemon, you can use that lemon and grate the back. But I love one teaspoon. Yeah. The beginning of the water. So, other use the spatula and 
that's it. So now you make sure all your dry ingredients are incorporated very well. Very, very well. Everything has to be level. Whether you're putting it inside, you're measuring it in a cup or what. That's one. Other, you use your hands now. Move the spatula. So that's one like so you see what she's doing now. Well, it's like breadcrumbs. You don't have water, you can as well measure your granola oil, just like what we have done. I'm going to put two eggs and she'll mix. That's one, right? And this is to mix again. And the last thing now we are going to put will be our water. And after you put the water, you mix it very well, it will form a dough, but you don't over mix. You don't over stretch the gluten, uh, um, the elasticity of the, the flour. You mix, but you don't match too much. And then after that, you rub it in a plastic film like this one, and then you keep it to set like for 10 minutes. So while it's setting, you can now prepare, while it's setting, you can now prepare the other, uh, your filling that you use for it. Make a cup of water when you are using this measure all these measuring cups all the like this if you can take this one and put here all of them are one one cup you understand it will still be the same one cup you get it so you can have so many that's why i'm working i have so many of them i can use the one for flour to measure water to measure butter to do this one so i have so many of them so that i can you know, use this one for water, use this one for butter and the rest. So when, if you're using this cup, if you decide that at the beginning of this training, I want to use this cup to measure my flour. I consider this as one cup of flour. No problem. Still measure it, put your flour the way I have shown you. And then you make it to be level, right? But know that you use the same one cup to measure flour, the same one cup to measure butter, the same one cup to measure sugar, the same one cup if you are using this cup, you use the same cup to measure all the things you need for that particular thing you're making. Don't use this cup. You come and use this one. Don't use this one for flour. You come and use this one for butter. You come and use this one for granola oil. Yeah. You go and use that one. You understand? So you have to be very careful. You must not necessarily have these measuring cups. You can fabricate your own. At, at first, I when I started, I used to buy this Yahoo that they sell now 1000 It was 500 when I started making cakes. I will eat my yaourt and I will keep it. Anything I eat, I will keep. So I had so many of them. Those were my measuring cups. At first, I didn't have money to start buying these measuring cups. So I was using, or I will take this pig milk and I will use it like my measuring cup. You understand? So when I give you a cup, it depends on the cup you want to use. But make sure you have it. But if you want to be professional in what you're doing, these are the measuring cups that we use. Okay? So we'll start by putting the water. I'll put half first. Let her mix. So you put your water gradually. If you put the water, this one cup is not enough. You can add a bit until you have your desired dough. So that's why we first of all put it gradually. So that if that one cup is not enough, you can be adding the water gradually until you have your, your required cup. So that's why sometimes I don't used to say water, but put it that way. I don't like to use measurement of water. Yes. So I'll put another water. We'll now wrap it now on this plastic thing. We'll wrap it and then we'll keep unfortunately there are no there's no like you can keep it in the fridge for like 10 minutes but you don't have it just keep it for you to rest. Don't move to the next 
So we are going to rub it very well. And then we are going to keep it to set. What we need is our fish, which I've already fixed. This is it. We have already fixed it. And then we need the green ball pepper. We need the garlic chopped. Either you use the powder garlic or the chopped one or you grind it. We need, as we call it in Cameroon, the green spices, the legs, the poireaux, yeah, and so on and so forth. We need the onions. We need our curry powder. We need the white pepper. We need thyme, rosemary, and then we need the seasoning cubes and we need our salt to season it, okay? So that's what we are going to do. You understand? So we are going to put all of these spices, just a little bit of them, inside the fish, and then we season, and then we debone it, we smash it before we start rolling it out. If you like to put pepper, you can put pepper inside. There are times when I love to use Maggi Crevette. We all know Maggi Crevette. I will just put the half of it inside. Now, I will take my garlic. I'll put just half of it and then I'll put my ball pepper. If you don't like to see these ones, you can blend them in. You're very free. And I'm going to put this. I'll put my onions. I love onions a lot. I'm going to put a bit of the rosemary and thyme and i'm going to put a bit of white pepper right so this is it and then i'm going to put a bit of water so that it can steam with it just a bit and then now i'll put it on the stove I love curry because of the flavor. So that's that will allow it to cook. If you love pepper, you can put pepper. But sometimes I prefer to make pepper separate because not everybody eats pepper. So you can make a pepper separate. So allow it to simmer. Yes, you can use granite oil. Yeah. That's it. We are good to bake. This one is true. So, this one is true. This is our feeling, right? This is our feeling for our fish roll. There's everything. There's curry powder, all the seasonings. There is um white pepper, the green spices like we call it in Cameroon, the pepsi, the leeks, and everything. There's a green bone pepper. There's onions. There's garlic. There is everything and salt and the seasoning, and the rosemary and the rest. So this is a fish roll. So a fish roll is supposed to be like this, right? So, you can either use water or you can use egg. So, I'm going to show you the two differences when you want to seal it. Okay, yeah. if I want to use water, I'll use water, but if I want to use egg, I'll use my egg like this, right? And then I'll apply my egg on it like this, right? Or you can apply your egg at the end, then I'll take the fish. I'll put my fish like this. It depends on how you want it to be. And where there's fish, right? I'll bring it in like this. I hope you are seeing it. This egg helps to bind it up. And then I'll roll like this. And that'll be it. You see, the egg is helping it to close. You can come here again if you have it open. You apply a bit of egg and then you seal it. You apply a bit of egg and then you seal it. Are you guys seeing? That's it. So it depends on how you want to make it. And then I've not put it up this way, right? But I'll take the fish, my fish. When I want to make it, I need to put it generously. 
I don't have time to you could call it in Cameroon pinchy. I like to put it let it right start from here. Okay, guys. I'll take it and go. When you come to the place where the fish has ended, that's where you bring it inside. Now I'll take a bit of water. I'll put it here on this edge. And then I bring it inside. You see? Are you guys see what I'm doing? Yes. And then I roll. Then when I come here to this final place, I put either egg or I put water. Some people don't like the, the taste and flavor of um, of egg. So you see, you do it like that. That's our fish roll. Should I do it again? Are we okay with what I've done? Have you understood what I've done? Uh, yes. Uh, I have no more call it that much. Okay. 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 Okay.